Hi guys, what's up? My name is Lisa and today I wanted to share with you a few tips on how you can start saving more money. I know it's really hard for us first time earners to get a true idea of how much money we're earning, how much money we're spending and what we're really able to save at the end of each month. So I wanted to make it a little bit easier for you guys and create some tips that you can start using to save more money. If you're interested to see which kind of tips I have, then make sure that you keep watching this video. My first tip that I have for anybody that is trying to save money is to really understand how much money you're earning. If you have like your 9 to 5 job and that's it, then really it's not that difficult for you to understand how much money you're earning. But what a lot of us are doing right now is trying to diversify your income. It's really important, but it will also make it more complicated to see how much money exactly you're earning at the end of each month. So what I do is I use a really simple spreadsheet that captures the amount of money that I'm earning each month. This is not just interesting to see at the end of the year how much money you actually made, but it's also really good to use to, as a basis of how much money will you be spending and how much money can you save based on the amount of money that you're earning. So if you want to use my little spreadsheet, I actually linked it down below so you can download it and start using it for yourself so that you have a general idea of how much money you're making. Second tip that I have for you guys is to actually budget what you're spending. I know it's really hard for people to do and not everybody wants to be checking for every dollar that they're spending, where it's going and making it into categories and that is just a lot of work and it's really overwhelming for a lot of people. So what I recommend you do is you create a list of all the costs that you have that are fixed every single month and you know that that money needs to go out of your bank account. So you need to have and budget for that amount of money. So write down all of your fixed expenses, such as rent or a mortgage, um, your subscriptions, your utilities, your gas, whatever it is that you're, you know that you're gonna be spending at the end of each month and count it out how much money that is. That is the amount of money that you need to have and there's no way to go around it because you need to spend that money and you don't wanna go into debt. So whatever you have left is what you can be either saving or spending at the end of each month. I would recommend that about half of the amount of money that you end up with goes into your saving account and the other half you could keep for your spending budget. Now you can change these percentages depending on how much you want to spend and how much you want to save and how quickly you need to be saving the amount of money that you're trying to save. If you really want to save a lot of money a lot faster, then you need to increase the amount of money that you're saving to about 70 or 80% of what's left over and only keeping 20 or 30% for your spending habits. I know that I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you guys and it can be a little bit confusing. So let's take this little example to make it more clear. Say you're earning $2,000 and then you have $1,200 of expenses that would mean that you have $800 left as you're spending money. Whatever you do with that $800 is your choice. You could either put half of that in spending and half of that in saving, or like I was saying, up, increase it to like 70 or 80% of savings and only 20 or 30% of spending. Then my next tip for you guys is to actually create multiple saving accounts. So depending on what you're saving for, you could have one, two, three, four, five different savings accounts. Um, it really depends on your bank that you're banking with. For me, opening a savings account is free, so I can just, yeah, open one whenever, but it can depend on your bank account, so you should definitely check. But if it's free, I would definitely recommend you open a few of them. One of them being your future savings for like your house, your down payment, a car, whatever it is, like a big amount of money that you're trying to save over a long, long period of time. And that is money that you shouldn't touch ever. Then the next saving account that you can have is an emergency fund. So that is money that you're putting into it on a monthly basis for um, really emergencies that you didn't foresee. So for example, if your car, if you have an accident with your car and you have to pay a lot of money, or if you have to go to surgery that you didn't expect that you were going through and you have to pay a lot of the money out of pocket or anything like that, that is just unexpected money that you would be needing, I would also recommend saving a little bit towards that. And then your third saving account would be whatever you're saving for. My priority is to travel around the world and so I have a separate saving account for travel and everything like that. So yeah, I really think it's really useful to have different saving account if you can because it really separates those different things and you know exactly how much money you're saving for each of them. And if you can't do multiple saving account then you can also just use like a simple spreadsheet or something like that to track 
how much money of the total amount in your saving account is for what, but that is definitely a lot less useful than having just a different savings account that you know are for different purposes. So those are a few things that I tell everybody that they should be focusing on if they want to start saving more money. But now on to a few things that you can actually do to increase the amount of money that you're saving. So my number one tip is to increase your income. Obviously, if you're earning more money, you can also save more money. So some of the things that you can do to increase your income is um, start a side hustle, go babysitting, sell your clothes on Vinted or Depop or Poshmark. You can work in, for example, like hospitality or something like that. They are always looking for like flexi jobbers, people that just want to work on the weekends and everything like that. And yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can um, earn more money. And if you want me to make a separate video on that, I can definitely do that. Another tip that I have is to cut out expenses that you really don't need. So one example can be if you go out and get a coffee three times a week and that's like a $5 coffee, then you're spending $15 a week or like up to $50 a month on coffee. If you just would make your coffee at home, I swear you wouldn't be spending $50 on that. And that $50 can then actually go to your savings account. You should also look at the subscriptions that you have right now and if you really do need all those subscriptions that you have. Another one would be, for example, are you really needing to drive everywhere so or can you cut down on your gas expenses there's just a lot of things that people are spending money on that they really shouldn't be spending money on another thing that i hear a lot of people saying is lisa i don't really understand how you're saving money um like i really don't have anything left over at the end of the month and i just really don't know how i can save even 50 dollars at the end of the month but then what do i see them do i see them go out for drinks every single night I see them flashing around their iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro Max, whatever it is, or they have the newest shoes and newest Balenciagas or whatever it is that they're spending money on. And I'm like, well, have you seen my clothes? I just wear basic clothes. I don't have the newest iPhone. I just have my iPhone 8. It works perfectly fine. I don't need the upgrade. I'd rather book a ticket to Mexico. And that is something that it really just depends on where your priorities are laying. But if you are trying to save more money, you should really be prioritizing whatever it is you're saving for. And yeah, so for example, rather than going out with your friends for drinks every weekend, invite them over and have drinks at your house. It's gonna be way less expensive and you're gonna have just as good of a time and then all the extra money that you're saving at the end of the month you can just put into your savings account for that goal that you're working on. And then one final tip that I have is to stop asking for meaningless gifts. I know a lot of times when people's birthday's coming up, Christmas or whatever you're getting presents for, people are always asking, what do you want? And you're like, oh, I don't know, whatever. And then they give you another, uh, you know, like body lotion or some kind of gift that you're like, what the heck, I don't need this. I don't have anything to do with that. It's not great, I don't need it. Why are you giving this to me? And rather than doing that, I just make lists now of things that I actually need but don't wanna be spending money on. So it can be either equipment for my trip around the world, it can be clothes that I've been wanting but I don't wanna spend money on, or anything that I really wanted but wasn't in my budget or wasn't something that I was willing to spend money on but then other people can buy it for you if it's your birthday or Christmas or whatever you're celebrating. And I can definitely guarantee you guys, if you start using these tips, you will increase the amount of money that you can save on a monthly basis and really start working towards your goal of either traveling the world or whatever it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any other questions on how you can start saving more money and make sure to subscribe if you wanna get more tips and tricks on how you can start saving, preparing, and planning for your next adventure. See you next time.